Hello, today I'll be showing you how to play PSX games in your PSP. First, download this file, link is in the video description. Then click, click here to start download. And while that downloads, I'll pause the video. Okay, so the download's done. Now you're going to need to unzip it, whoops, unzip it, then drag the folder it's created out to your PSP drive, and just drop it in there. Okay, so I'm going to do something I've never done before in a video tutorial. Jump over to the horrid land of Windows XP. Here we go. <gasps> Okay, so here we are on the land of Windows, an ugly and horrid land indeed. First, download your PSX ISO of choice. Second, download this. Link is in video description. Save the file to disk. And now, make a new folder on your desktop called Pop Station. That's capital P, capital O, capital P, capital S, and then T-A-T-I-O-N. Folder. Okay, can you see Pop Station? Now you need to extract the RAW that you've just downloaded into Pop Station. So drag it into it. By the way, you need WinRAW for this, or WinAce. Right click it then extract here now make a new folder in there with the name of your PSX ISO Okay, so I've got Siphon Filter. So open that up, then drag the RAW or whatever compression file that your ISO is in into the new folder you just made. Sorry for the pauses, I'm also typing this out as well. In case you don't get what I say. Okay, so close that. Now you need only to extract .img file. Okay, so just drag it out into your game into the game folder you just made. And while that does that, I'm gonna pause the video.
Okay, so it's now extracted. Now you need to run the pop station exe. So go back, then run pop station gui. Now you got to browse for your img file. So that's pop station, siphon filter, and that. Now you might want to customize the file because it gives you an option to do that but I don't want to do that so here's what you do. Okay so when you click go this will make an eboot.pbp file uh, out of the .img file so it's compatible with the PSP. Now you've got to click go. See that? And this should take about 10 minutes or less. Now I'm going to pause the video.